The Department of Children and Families completed more than 50 adoptions today across the state, and one adoption ceremony in New Haven was as moving as they come. Fox 61's Tony Terzi joins us live from the Elm City now with the heartbreaking circumstances surrounding a grandmother who today became a mother once again. Tony. Brent, Amanda, good afternoon, everyone. Quite a story here inside one Long Wharf Center where Karina uh, Martin of West Haven, a grandmother, she's certainly faced a lot of adversity in recent years. And inside, she was crying, but they were tears of joy. Karina Martin calls her granddaughter Olivia the sunshine of her life and the wind beneath her wings. And now she can also officially call the seven-year-old her daughter. I'm not replacing my daughter. I'm just continuing on in her absence. Karina Martin's daughter, Nika, and her nine-year-old granddaughter, Mygea, were murdered by live-in boyfriend Anthony Rutherford in 2017. So Olivia and Karina have leaned on each other ever since. As hard as it is, it's still worth it because when you get to this day, this day tells you that you did something right. Especially during the portion of this virtual adoption ceremony today where the certificate of adoption popped up on screen. I feel like she, she, she's the piece. She's the last piece in the puzzle. As hard as it is to believe, Karina Martin has actually had two daughters murdered by boyfriends. In 2013, her daughter, Alicia Wiley, an Eastern Connecticut State University student, was murdered by Jermaine Richards. And sometime, the weight seems too heavy to bear. And then I get Olivia with one of the, good morning, Grandma, <laughs> I love you. And to help those that have been victims of domestic violence, Karina Martin some time ago founded Mothers of Victims Equality Incorporated. To raise awareness, to educate, empower, engage, and encourage about domestic violence and its heinously horrific effects. From such such tragedy, uh, such joy, and it's 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 a testament to, to, to both mom and daughter today, and congratulations. So with that, and we certainly thank DCF for providing hope to many folks across the state. So far this year, the Department of Children and Families have completed 400 adoptions. We're live here in New Haven. Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.